I think when Dennis talked about last night, and there was three kind of themes that that, that that stuck out, and they're all kind of intertwined, but they've all kind of struck at different times, and that's kind of missed opportunities, inconsistency, uh, and the ability to finish, right? I mean, those three things, and you can pick in different games at, at different times, but those three themes have have been part of your issue, correct? Yeah, I, I think e- each week it, it there are some things that are common, you know, from week to week, and there's some things that it, we've improved significantly on, and then there's some new things that that crop up. And I think I think the last few weeks defensively, you know, we we struggled in the first half of these games, uh, um, and uh, man, I don't have a real answer for the why behind that. Um, so we've got to get that fixed. We got to figure out, you know, why we're starting slow and it's taking us a while to get settled in defensively. I think offensively, over the last five or six weeks, we've improved pretty significantly in a lot of areas. And yet, I look, this was a game in the first half where we took a little bit of a step back. Uh, even though there were some good things, we moved the ball at times, but again, we had you know some misalignments uh, on a couple of occasions, and we had some penalties in a couple of occasions that. Stopped our progress, so um, those are the things that have to get cleaned up. And it's it's a team thing, right? I mean, because you could say, "Wow, the defense gave up 21 straight points in the second quarter." Well, the offense only had it eight plays in the second quarter, and two of those were punts. Only 22 plays in the first half. So it's you know it's a chicken or the egg. The offense didn't play very well in the first half, which put the defense on on the field a lot. I mean, it's a little it's a little bit of both, correct? Yeah, it's certainly both. It's you know, it's always a complimentary game. Look, the defense it was having trouble getting stops. They were, you know, the the uh, offense. Listen, they they did a great job. Let's just acknowledge that they played great. They had a great game plan and they executed it, you know, about as well as you could, particularly in the first half. And so their their drives were, you know, long drives, you know, a lot of plays keeping our offense off the field. It's hard to get the rhythm offensively if you're not on the field, right? And then when you do get on the field, if you're, if you're you know, only running three or four plays before you've got a punt, uh, that, that's not a recipe for rip. Um, so it's, it's, like I said, it's a complimentary game. And, and uh, that's the part of consistency that we haven't been able to find is that that game or games or stretch of time where you're playing really well offensively, defensively, and, of course, uh, uh, complementing that with, with good special teams play. And that's that's what we're struggling to find. Uh, but I think it's in there. Yeah, it's clearly in there because we've seen it, right? I mean, it's not like it's not, you know, we, it's just about the, the consistency. And then what happens, and, and this is not, you know, you know this, but all of a sudden at halftime, uh, you're, you're down 24-3. So, it's not that the game plan has to change, but it 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 does a little bit just from a from a tempo situation. You you are able to run the ball. I mean, all things considered, uh, uh, pretty well. But things do change when you're down twenty four three. Yeah, agreed. Um, absolutely agree that the you know you always look for positives in these in these games when you watch watch the tape afterwards you're looking for things that you can build on as well as things that you have to correct and you know one of the things that was positive is that I thought our, our base run game was was pretty good um, maybe the best it's been um, this season so that was positive I thought our protection for the most part was good you know particularly against a team that there's a lot of a lot of blitzes a lot of exotic pressures some of which we didn't handle but but uh, a good portion of which we did so those are those are the kinds of things that that you know you pay attention to, not just the thing the mistakes you make, but but also the uh, the things that you did well. We talked about in that first segment, and that is as you look at the film and you look at, at, at looking for some positives. Uh, let's talk about A. T. Perry initially. Mike Thomas gets hurt early after just I mean he took some tough those hits he took were were hard on his first uh, two catches. So you get this young man who comes in who's been active, but he hasn't really caught a pass. And then he catches the 23-yarder, which was big. And I remember talking a lot at camp about 
A.T. Perry and the ability to make some contested catches. And I don't know that he can have a first touchdown more contested than his was uh, in Minnesota. Yeah, look, that was, uh, uh, that was a spectacular catch. Here's, here's one thing you can't coach, and that's the height that he has. You know, he, he's, he's a long, uh, tall receiver. Um, he's got pretty good body control for having it. Uh, in size and and you know we saw some really good things in in the preseason that we liked. Um, he's still developing, uh, but he, you know he's pushed into action on Sunday and I, I thought he responded pretty well. I think there was a there's another ball that he would tell you that he, he could have and should have caught, but but uh, the touchdown was certainly spectacular. I, as you look kind of at just the overall standings, I, this year feels. A little different. I felt like we started this season with like these apparently these elite teams, right? The Miami, the San Fran, the Phillies, and, and the Buffaloes. And you look now. I mean, the four and five, five and five, five and four, six and three, six and four. I mean, that, to me, that's a pretty tight bunch. I mean, with seven games to go, eight games for some. So, twenty of the thirty-two teams are that four and five. Five and five, five and four, six and three, or six and four. That's a that's a tight bunch. A lot of things can happen. I mean, uh, between now and, and January seventh or eighth. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's the NFL every year. You know, there's this there's this thought or expectation that there's you know this group of elite teams that can't be beat, and then there's a group of teams that can't win a game, and that's just not the case. I mean, the margin for error, the margin of victory. Um, the things that you have to do to win a game, uh, it's just so close in the NFL. And, and uh, I think, you know, we're seeing that demonstrated. We see it, you know, every week we see, you know, Houston with a rookie quarterback, you know, running off a string of wins that are, you know, improbable. And and, and uh, I think they beat Cincinnati this weekend. I don't yeah. think anyone would have guessed that. Um, so that's why, you know, these small details, these little things, you know, 12 men on the field at the end of a game, um, you know, a penalty that 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 uh, you you don't commit that that makes all the difference in the world. It's a difference between winning and losing, and, and it it's uh, the kinds of things that we have to look at and look at ourselves and get cleaned up. And and um, you know, it, it's it's looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I've got to be better in this particular area. And that's every individual. That's not just our players. It's a, it's the personnel people. All of us. Hey, what can we do just a little better? to eliminate these these small things that are keeping us from winning. And finally, Coach Allen talked about, all right, so here we, we have this stretch run, really seven games after the, the bye week. Uh, you went through it last year where you were kind of like you went through, you know, after the Tampa game and it was like, I don't know if you, I, I can't, I don't want to say that you treated every game like a playoff game, but, you know, it, it felt somewhat like that. I mean, because you've went through it, because you went through this situation last year, not similar, not exactly similar, but because you went through it and played pretty solid football down the stretch, uh, kind of the same mentality with the seven games remaining? Look, I understand the reference point, but every team is different. You know, every team is different. And I think, you know, when you get into these stretch runs, you, you're not building character, you're revealing it. Um, and so, Mark, and, and the character of our team will be revealed over these next six, seven games. And, and um, man, I believe I believe in our guys. I believe in our team, our coaches, um, our staff. You know, but we you know we we've got to demonstrate that uh, in these last seven games and see where it takes us.